American Mahjong is played with eight jokers. But just because there are jokers doesn't mean you have to use them. There's a whole category on the card of pair hands. No jokers allowed. In this solitaire game, I'm going to force a pair hand. And if the situation arises, show you how to transition to another category to recover if that pair hand goes dead. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 are going to get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll pick a category, maybe even a hand. And for one player, we're going to force a pair hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one. Player one has pairs and S, E, S. So let's see what we can do with three, three, five. I think little odds. There is a pair hand with odds. Third hand down, one suit with dragons. We have no dragons. I think we should do little odds here. Just focus on little odds. One, three, five. One, three, five. There is a one, three, five and one suit with news concealed. One, three, five with news. There are some other mixed suit opportunities, so let's keep the three. Since we do have some potential with consecutive run, if you fill in the right tiles, let's keep the four. By process of elimination, we'll discard those three. So we're in between little odds, one, three, five, and consecutive run. Let's see what we can do for player two. They have a joker. I wouldn't play a pair hand, at least at the start. So here we have a pair of twos. This is going to be where we should start with a two. So let's think uh, two. We have no four for two, four, six, eight. Two, three, four, five. There's a gap with the four. Two, no other twos, no like number. I think because consecutive run gives us the most flexibility, let's start there. Let's see if there's an addition potential with a two. Eight, two. Eight plus two is ten. I would not pass like numbers. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six. Let's give up a six. I was thinking of the second from the bottom under consecutive run. One, two, three, four, five, but here, one, two, three, four, crack, five, dot, one, two, three, or two, three, four, five, six. We need a four crack. Just trying to give myself options here. We could use two, three in the middle with a four dot, four, let's see, no, that wouldn't work. It would be one, two, three, four. We need a one dot and a four dot or a one bam and a four bam. This would be for the fourth hand down. So I think if we focus on consecutive run, that might be the best. And let's pass those and see what happens. Let's look and see what we can do for player three. One, two, four, five. There's some consecutive run there. Four, five, six, some there. Five, north. Let's get rid of the big numbers. Actually, there is a pair hand that spans one through seven. Four, five. 
four, five, pass that. Let's get rid of the north. Focus here, four crack, potential pair hand. This five may or may not help. Let's pass those three right there. Let's see if we can gather cracks for a pair hand. The consecutive run pair hand, seven consecutive numbers. Let's see what happens. We're gonna look and see what we can do for north. We have a joker. So I would not play a pair hand here. So we have seven, nine, seven, nine. There's the strength, six, seven, eight, nine, or big odds, five through nine. Let's give up the east, the two, and the four. Big odds, consecutive pair hand maybe. Here, consecutive run here, little odds or consecutive run. So we're ready to do the Charleston. East passes to south. South up to west, west to north, and north down to east. We did get some consecutive numbers here. Let's give up the nine. Potential east and or news with one, three, five. Here we have a three, one, three, three, five, if we can get a one dot. I think we're spreading ourselves a little thin. Let's give up the four. We still have an option to do two, three, four, five, but we'd have to throw away a pair of threes. Let's see, Oop, we're not ready for that. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got an eight. Eight plus two is 10, but we have a gap. We do not have a one bam or a white dragon. Seven, eight, nine though, look. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's keep this for potential and focus on six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. No cracks. We did get a six though. Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I would not pass that. I would not do that. Let's use this player for forcing a pair hand. So we're going to be aggressive and gather the strength. We have a pair here and a pair here. So we have to choose four, five, six, or one, two, four, five, seven. We have a greater representation here. So let's go ahead and break this up. Let's pass those three. We got an eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass those three. Maybe we could do five, seven, seven, nine though. Five, seven, seven, nine. This would be the second hand down under odds. Let's pass those three. So we did the first right. Now we are going to go across. So east and west, north and south. Ooh, one, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine, no gaps. Let's give up the two and the four and focus on odds. Oh, like numbers, no, no, no. Let's give up on wins and break that up. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. If somebody's playing like numbers or two, four, six, eight, that will fit right into their hand. That's two categories. I think it's best not to pass like numbers. You want to build your hand, but pass defensively. We were looking for six, seven, eight, nine. We can pass these. Oh, we got a four, but that's a pung. We're looking for pairs. We want to force a pair hand here. 
So we're going to, we're not going to keep that. We're going to force a pair hand. Let's give ourselves options and pass those. Five, seven, seven, nine, or five, seven, nine, one suit. There's three tiles to pass. Five, seven, nine, one suit is the third hand down with the flower. Five, seven, nine. This eight is looking like a good pass. Five, seven, seven, nine, second hand down, or five, seven, nine with the flower, third hand down on the right. Both of those are on the right. Okay, so we went across. Now we're going to do first left, east up to north, north to south, south to west, west to east. We got a four again. I still think this is the strongest, but we can keep it and pass those three. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's the wrong suit. I want to keep this. For potential 8, 2 plus 10, or 8 plus 2 equals 10 with the addition hand. Even though there's a gap, we could also use this for joker bait. Okay, this is where we're trying to pair hand. We've got a keeper. 1, 2, 3, 4. We need a 6 for our run. We have a little gap. Let's Let's pass those two and break up the pair so we have a decent pass. That's a little risky, actually, but yeah, let's mix that up a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get another tile to mix that up with. No keepers. That was first left. Now we're going to do second left. East to north, north to south, south to west, west to east. Oops. North to west, west to south, south to east. Did I say that? I think I messed it up. North to west, west to south, south to east. We got a keeper. One through five. That's not one through five. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. That's what we got. All right, we did pick up a pair of east though. I think we should break all that up and pass those three and focus on one, three, five, seven, nine. First hand under odds. We did pick up an eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. I don't think that's going to be helpful. This is our multiple. We want that to be the focus. And I don't think there's a seven, eight, seven, eight type of convention for the mock card it, it all escalates one to the next for two suit options so i don't think a 7878 convention is going to work i think we should go ahead and give it up okay we want cracks five seven seven nine or five seven nine and one suit we can pass those we did second left now we're going to go across so east and west north and south we were looking for odds we did get some joker bait though there's tiles we could pass two three south maybe hold some joker bait we have the optional or no no we still have two passes to go i do not want to be left with a pair during the charleston because if you get all keepers you will either have to pass a pair or break up your hand so let's break it up right now no keepers we got the four back let's keep going you know, we could probably keep the four and pass those. We got an eight, but we're looking for odds, big odds. So we went across. Now we're on last right. East passes to south, south to west, west to north, and north to east. No keepers. We did get a green dragon. Let's see if we can use a green dragon with one suit odds. 
there's one potential second from the bottom it requires four flowers and we have none i think we could probably go ahead and pass those and be okay though let's give up the four instead of the eight there is consecutive run potential there if we get a six bam use this as joker bait we'll see we want six seven eight nine we're looking for cracks and we got one. One, two, three, four, five, seven. We need a six crack really badly though. Let's go ahead and pass those three, mix it up a little bit. We picked up an eight, five through nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, consecutive run, first hand under consecutive run, pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. Let's keep it. And we have tiles to pass. So that was last right, we're on optional cross. Everybody wants to pass. We can pass. So east and west pass fully and north and south pass fully. No keepers. We have discards, lots of discards, six discards, but they have no gaps. I would hold that. Sometimes I turn my plan B upside down so I have no gaps in my hand like this. I separate them for the purposes of the video, but when I play, I'll put plan B upside down. No keepers. Jeez, little gremlins. No keepers. We want to discard all these. Five discards for a pair hand though, but we have a big gap right there. No keepers. I like to discard winds and year tiles and dragons if I'm not using them. Let's pass like that. Number tiles, you're more likely to get jokers, and dragons are risky, so are year tiles. So I try to discard them early. We don't want jokers here. So here, it doesn't matter. This is the pair hand. So we're done with the Charleston. We're ready to start phase two, pick and discard. So we're going to discard north, and we'll draw. White dragon. I do not think that's going to be helpful. Let's get rid of the east. Two dot. Let's throw east. Eight dot. Wow, look at that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Discarding south. down here. I don't like to commit my jokers early. We'll see. We have a long way to go. Oh, two crack. Let's get rid of this dragon though. White dragon. Eight, nine dragon. There is a fourth hand down. Four flowers, eight, nine matching dragon. Kong Kong pair. Let's keep it and discard three crack. Or that's, that would be a three dot. Nine crack. That could give us some options, even though we have our pair here. We want one through seven. But let's just keep it and discard four, bam. Eight crack. Probably should get rid of the two. That's a year tile. Let's just continue. Four dot. We don't need that. Let's get rid of the two crack. Year tile. 
up here. I would not commit to eight plus two equals 10. The addition hand, first one, mixed suits, because we have no one, although we do have one white dragon. If we do claim that for a Kong, we will not be able to act on this for quite a while. And we still have options and only one flower. We have six, seven, eight, nine flowers with eight, nine dragon. If we focus on these two options, we would have three discards. If we commit to eight plus two equals 10, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six discards and no options. We would be committed. This early in the game, I think I would rather not commit. Let's draw flower. That will help with eight, nine dragon. As a matter of fact, I think we should consider that strongly. Eight, nine dragon. And we can use this to help with the nine maybe. Use this as joker bait. Although nobody else wanted the two, so that not, might not be good joker bait. Let's get rid of the six crack. Eight, nine dragon. So this would be the fourth hand down because we have this now. And you know what? We could still play eight, 12, one. We could just use the joker for the two later. Three crack, that would be a keeper. One, two, three, four, five, seven. We need a six crack badly. Let's discard. There's one out. Five crack. Joker. One, three, five, seven, nine. The convention here is pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. So maybe we could use that either here or here. Use that as an option. Let's discard the four crack. Seven crack. We just need to get rid of all those. So five crack is out, seven crack is out. There's a six crack. We've got our run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's discard five dot. Nine bam. Five, seven, seven, nine. If we can get a six dot in here, that might be better. Let's discard the two dot. Flower. We might be able to use that for five, seven, nine, or one, three, five. There's equal opportunity there. There's the third hand down, one, three, five, or five, five, seven, nine. Let's discard the six dot, keep that. And I think maybe the eight can probably go. Even if we keep it, we're gonna have joker bait. But if we play one, three, five, seven, nine, we're using every multiple. I think that's probably a really good hand for them. Let's draw. Two bam. Eight crack. Okay, well, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have the whole run. Let's discard two dot. Seven bam, five, seven, seven, nine, joker bait. Let's discard this four bam. If a five, seven, nine tile goes down, we might have to make a choice. Let's draw four crack. That's already out. 
five dot. We really don't need any of these six bam. Three dot. We want cracks. Five crack, seven crack are out. Those would be perfect to draw right away. Eight bam. Nope, we don't need it. Eight bam. Now that was the last tile in the second wall. We're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know what category they're playing. Here we're playing odds, consecutive run, consecutive run pair hand, and big odds, or consecutive run. One dot. Two bam. We need cracks. West. Six bam. We want odds. Oh, one bam. One, three, five. Seven, nine, this is looking good. Let's get rid of this flower. We could pung, kong. We need help though, here and here. Because if we pung and kong, we'll be light. If we kong, we'll be light. If we pung, we'll be light. East. We need a crack. Got a six, bam. Red Dragon. Five crack, that's already out. And that is the second one. So this is getting risky now. Oh, nine dot, that's a keeper. Eight, nine, Dragon there. Let's discard seven bam. Seven bam, now up here, we could commit to five, seven, seven, nine, but we'd have to use our only joker. The convention for the second hand down is Pung Kong, Pung Kong. I think that we're better off to stay concealed and or maybe play five through nine consecutive run. So here we're gonna let it go and here we're gonna Pung. Because this player gets precedence, they're going to pass, and this player can take it. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. So we need help with our five bam. Let's discard the eight bam. We got a three bam. And we can pung. Discard three dot. Everyone's now going to know what we're playing. Anytime you have two exposures out, people will know what you're playing. But the nice thing here is we have the pairs already secured. Let's draw. Red dragon has been thrown. Two dot. One crack. They're good there. Joker, well, that's very nice. Discarding four dot, ready to win on a five bam. Oh, if they draw that seven bam, self pick, let's draw. Red dragon. We need a crack. We got a joker. We're gonna hold it. Discarding four dot. Actually, now that we have a joker, this is where you might consider switching one, two, three, four, five, maybe to the one, two, three consecutive run hand with that joker. When you're playing a pair hand, you've got to look at the tiles that are being discarded. There's two five cracks out and a seven crack out. We still have potential to make the one through five hand or maybe even one, three, five joker bait. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Let's just see what, what happens. Drawing. 
white dragon. This is for a pair, Kong Kong pair. So they're good there. They need an eight dot or a nine dot pretty badly and a flower. Seven dot, we're not ready there. We don't need it actually, seven dot. Now up here, we need to commit. So if we have, well, we don't need have to commit, but five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many five dots are out? None. One, one five dot is out. Two six dots are out. Five, seven, seven, nine. I think we should switch to five, seven, seven, nine, and Pung. Because there are two six dots out and there's a five dot out. We can use that for joker bait and Pung, the seven dot. Five, seven, seven, nine. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. Let's discard the flower or as soon as possible. We're in the middle of the middle game. So that's when you want to start getting, you know, thinking about getting rid of the risky tiles like fresh tiles, flowers, dragons, year tiles. We got a two bam. That's a discard. Six crack. They need that six crack. Four bam. Wrong suit. There are two six cracks out right now. So they're dwindling. Whenever your pair hand is getting weaker by the minute through discards or exposures, consider switching to the category that relates to that hand. In this case, the consecutive run category. The very first hand we could play if we get wins, we might even be able to play the concealed hand. So let's just see what happens. So we have four, 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 and that. Okay, so wrong suit, four bam, and this is the pick for this player. They needed that. Five, seven, five, seven, seven, nine. Let's discard this nine bam. This is joker bait. Nine bam, that's pair, we're good there. Four dot, discard. Nine crack. Yeah, we don't need it. We are looking at one through seven. We got no keeper there. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I think we should really consider switching to one through five. First hand under consecutive run. Let's discard the nine crack. One dot. Three dot. Seven crack. That's the second seven crack. Still viable. Two bam. Two dot. One bam. We're ready to win on a five bam. This is supposed to be a pair hand. Plan B. Two crack we need, five, six, seven we need. Eight bam. Joker. Now this is when you give up on the pair hand. We're we're done with the pair hand. One, two, three Kong, four. We can pung, Kong, Pung. We're we're set now with one through five. I would not lament discarding one joker, but two. This is when you switch. We're gonna discard the eight crack. Flower, discard it as soon as possible if you're not gonna use it. Nobody wants it. Oh wait, this player. Do we need four flowers? We do, let's Kong. Now that's gonna lighten it up here. We need the eight and nine dot. Let's discard seven dot. 
that was here so here we're going to draw oh we got the seven. Oh my goodness okay now hold on hold the phone oh oh that's so tempting one two three four five six seven but five six there are two each out and we really need that five and this hand is set we need to give up on that pair hand as painful as it is let's discard the six crack this could be joker bait three bam nope discard red dragon that was the last tile on the third wall this is the point where each player should decide if they want to push to win or switch to defense here we're ready to win on a five bam here we need eight nine we do have joker bait and a five dot three discards here we are set we can we could pung kong pung we need a five crack badly there are two out joker bait here five seven seven nine we need to pung kong and kong we're light one tile with the seven and the nine joker bait and a discard if you're four discards from winning play to win we have no discards three discards two discards three discards i'd play to win for everybody exchanging my own thank you OCD okay eight nine dragon discarding five dot nobody wants it drawing four west eight crack wow nope we, we're switching to leverage those jokers let's draw five dot safe north eight bam wrong suit east eight crack green dragon three crack oh we need to get rid of those twos we're gonna kong these twos i should have gotten rid of at the end of the third wall seven crack nobody wants them you should get rid of joker bait at the end of the third wall i think it was so distracted on these flowers west so we'll get rid of the two next joker that's mahjong they wouldn't have been ready anyway they would have been closer they would have been ready to win because they would have discarded punged discarded been ready on a five so we got them ready at least but here's our winner right here one three five seven nine two away with joker bait that would have made this player ready coming from a pair hand so that hand was still viable after the switch here five seven seven nine one discard with joker bait Many players are hesitant to play a pair hand because they're afraid that after they commit, their hand might go dead based on discards or maybe exposures at the table. But if you look at the category for singles and pairs, each one of those hands relates to a category on the card. So if tiles in your hand are at risk, 
you can switch to the category that the hand relates to. For example, in this game, West was playing the consecutive run pair hand. The fives and sixes were at risk. And then they picked another joker. So they had two jokers. One joker to get rid of, not so bad, but two jokers, that could be painful, especially if the tiles that are at risk go down. So when you get to the place where your tiles are at risk or you draw jokers, consider switching to the tandem category. That would be the category that it relates to, and in this case, consecutive run. They were one away from ready after the switch. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.